What's going on guys? My name is Cal and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play a bossa nova style uh, jazz guitar, acoustic or electric, doesn't really matter. And hopefully you'll be able to play a little bit of jazz after this lesson. So let's get right into it. Before we begin, just want to let you guys know I have no real authority on this subject. I'm not a jazz guitar player at all. Uh, this is just some stuff that I've picked up over the years. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not even correct, but yeah, it sort of sounds kind of good. It's kind of fun to play. Uh, it's good for playing at parties, like low low-key background music, stuff like that. So anyway, it starts off, uh, we just have, and we're using uh, all finger picking for this, so if you guys aren't good at that, this is a great song to practice. Um, basically, we just have your first finger on the fifth fret uh, E string, and your third, fourth, and fifth fingers on the D, G, and the B of the same fret. And this pattern will work throughout the entire uh, fretboard, so. And we're using your thumb to hit the E, and then your first, second, and third finger to pluck the uh, D, G, and B all at the same time. Okay, just like that. Then we hit the low E again, so. And then just the B. And we switch to this. Keeping your third and fourth finger exactly where they are, um, you're just moving your first and second finger. Now your first finger is on the uh, fourth fret on the D, and your second finger is on the fifth fret A. Okay, and the same, same sort of picking pattern using your uh, thumb, first, second, third finger. Hit the strings all at the same time. So we have so far. And again, same thing, twice with all of them, and then just the A, and then the B, so. Okay, then we go to this, which is uh, your first and second finger on the third fret B string, and then your second finger on the fourth fret uh, G, and then your thumb is on the third fret on the low E. Okay, same sort of uh, pattern there. So, so far we have. Okay, you're basically you're just, with this chord, you're just alternating between the low E string and then the G and the B. Once again. Um, and then once we have that pattern mastered, you can kind of move it all along the neck um, in really any pattern that you want. And for the most time, it'll, or for the most part, it'll sound pretty good. So, Okay, um, so you can kind of see how that works. I like to switch it up a little bit. Um, I, I usually, one of the common patterns that I do is I start in the fifth fret. Then I go up to the seventh. And then instead of switching to this chord after that, you just go right back into the beginning of that riff on a different, uh, different fret. So. and then resolve. Okay, so again, no idea really what I'm doing. Uh, I just kind of found out that that sounds kind of good and it's kind of fun to play. You can mess around with it. It's pretty hard once you have that main chord progression to make it sound bad, as long as you're hitting the notes. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that kind of jazz style lesson, different than what I normally do. Uh, if you guys are better at this than I am, which is very possible, feel free to leave uh, any comments down below correcting what I'm doing because, as I said before, it's probably wrong. Don't even know why you're watching this video. <laughs> and as always, I'll see you guys later.